effective? Has it actually? Oh, it's been very effective. If I put this up your you you'll find out how effective it is. If we put a round up your you know, still have guns. Yeah, but that's what you want to get them out. Them. But you want to get these out. This gun saved many lives. Right. It could save your life. But, you know, you're more or less likely to do it. We save all these guns that the police department uses. Save, I mean, how many lives do you save? Now, when asked why he even suggested where that gun could go, the mayor said it was because the rifle that he grabbed had a bayonet. But you know, semi-automatic weapons are not just about gun control, this is about national security. You know that these weapons can shoot down airplanes, <clears throat> they can blow up a a railroads. This is really a homeland security issue. This is not just, you want to go out to your house, you got it. A gun hits the hunt, you got it. But these semi-automatic uh, military assault, assault weapons, they shot in the White House two years ago. So none of us are safe with these weapons on the streets. What's the efficacy of, pa of banning these magazine clips? I will tell you, these, these, this is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high-capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. Sheriff Smith, you'd like to respond? I have to change magazines. I am at a serious disadvantage. The question is, where was that again? What about me? Good news for you. You live in Denver. The DPD would be there within minutes. So we'll, we'll do here in the purple sweater. That were you that would ban the types of assault ammunition clips. Well, how do you respond to that particular argument, which is they believe under their Second Amendment right they should be allowed an AR-15? I will tell you if uh, you talk to professional professional. Uh, hunters and certainly sportsmen, they'll tell you that's probably not the kind of gun to use. Uh, a rifle uh, is more accurate. It's certainly easier for a woman uh, to be able to do that. Arms. Come on. This is crazy. You can't certainly use this for hunting. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device on the tip of it, which is a heat-seeking device. So you don't shoot deer with a bullet that size. If you do, you could cook it at the same time. The other very important part of this bill is to ban large-capacity ammunition feeding devices those that hold over 10 rounds. We have federal regulations and state laws that prohibit hunting ducks with more than three rounds, and yet it's legal to hunt humans with 15 round, 30 round, even 150 round magazines. <laughs> Do, 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 do. 
In February, you introduced the Assault Weapons Ban and Law Enforcement Protection Act of 2007. It would regulate semi-automatic assault weapons, including weapons that have pistol grips, a forward grip, and something called a barrel shroud. Weapons with a barrel shroud would be regulated. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate it? I think. I think the more important thing is that it also would have had banned the large capacity clips right. that Colin Ferguson had but used, I, and also uh, the killer. Okay. But I, I read, I read the legislation. I'm sorry, I read the legislation that said that it would regulate barrel shrouds. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate that? The guns that were chosen back in the, in those days were basically the guns that most gangs and criminals were using to kill our uh, police okay. officers. I'm not saying it was the best bill. But that was the best Do you know what a barrel shroud is? Time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shroud okay, is. Because it's in it's your legislation. It's a shoulder thing that goes up. No, it's not. Let's say three. If you haven't hit the deer with three shots, you're a pretty lousy shot. That deer deserves to get away. Let's get serious. Here. But that would ban most pistols. That would ban most. No, but pistols are different. You have to pull the trigger each time. An assault weapon, you basically hold it, goes. Burr, burr, burr. No, those are fully automatic weapons. Okay. Don't try to go for a gun. You've got somebody pointing a gun at you. You think you're going to be able to outshoot them? That's one of the stupidest things I've ever heard. When I come in to interview you, I got to go through metal detectors. There are men with guns out there to oh, no. make sure that you're safe. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. You know, guess what? A shotgun will keep you a lot safer. A double barrel shotgun than uh, the assault weapons in somebody's hands who doesn't know how to use it, even one who does know how to use it. You know, it's harder to use an assault weapon than hit something that is a shotgun, okay? So you want to keep people away in the earthquake, buy some shotgun shells. Um, Kate, if you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells, a 12 gauge shotgun. And I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and it's somewhat secluded. So, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here, walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to, you don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. A double barrel shotgun, then uh, the assault weapons in somebody's hands who doesn't know how to use it, even one who does know how to use it, you know, it's harder to use an assault weapon than hit something that is a shotgun, okay? You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, 